Hello viewers, it's the me and team. Welcome to Let's Play Heroes of Might and Magic 3. And we're in the final mission, I think, of the Seeds of Discontent campaign. So this will complete the restoration of Rathia once I finish this particular mission. And if you recall from last time, our objective is merely to build a capital in the town of Wellnin. Now, <laughs> apparently the game wants to limit us with lumber, which makes me think I should have started with 10 wood. But, okay. We'll have to work with what we get. We get the Spirit Guardian, which provides 50% creature generation, and also provides your kingdom with 5,000 gold a day. And luck. Okay. Well, you know how I feel about luck. Um... Okay, we are out of wood entirely. That blows, but... Um, might as well increase the income. So, the real uh, objective here is just to get to... Uh, what's it? It's a, uh, whatever, as quickly as possible. The capital. And... What are my options here? This is uh, apparently the same layout as before for the most part. And I just have to... I guess capture wood? Yeah, okay. Level 1, so nothing too good there. And recruit some wood elves into this party. Hmm. Well, I can also grab some wood from this campfire. Let's try it. On my way to the dorms. Do I have a tavern already? I do. Which means I should recruit another druid for more troops. More troops. Nope, not wood. Not wood this time. Not in this campfire. Maybe in another campfire, but not in this one. Apparently we have wood scattered around. <laughs> no sawmill, huh? <laughs> I don't have a lot of cities with which to uh, use to trade for resources either. So this might get a little bit on the interesting side, perhaps. This is such a strange mission set. I mean, really weird. Oh good, I have protection from air. And that is tr going to be tremendously useful against these random creatures. Like, you know, I'll block their chain lightnings, and, um, yeah, never mind. Let's just build what we can. Okay, so I should be able to take out some lots of halberdier action. And although they will fight me. But I don't foresee too many issues, because I have dendroid guards, and dendroid guards are the bomb. They are as fast as dwarves, which is blazing. Look at that. Look at that speed. How could you not like dendroid guards? I mean, seriously. Haha, you are rooted in place. Oh, no. Uh. So, you gotta have a fight without any casualties whatsoever. Two wood. Really? Two wood? They're not pulling punches here, are they? It appears they are not. Um, let's make my hero better. I could very much need it. Um, shoot, I need the check. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Both neither of these skills are going to be useful, so I can't build up a mage guild, and I really don't think I want to. So I might as well spam some kind of magic. What do I have? Just protection from air. Maybe I'll get a shrine or something that lets me learn a spell. I really don't see any reason to pump up wisdom without a really good mage guild. <sighs> Gonna spend wood to make wood? I don't know about that. Not in that case. Alright, well you... Is it learning? <laughs> it's the same choice. Man, oh man. This is a game. I tell you what. I can't build anything. I need to kill things to get... Uh. So, not only do I have no source of wood, obvious, they are also stealing wood from me as the turns go on. <laughs> that's, uh, that's something. That's something alright. I can't even build a marketplace, which would at least give me some flexibility. I'd like to recruit wood elves. No. Oh, wow. 
This is going to be a joy. I can tell already. These things are faster than me, but they will wait. Or not. Oh, that's right, because this is quote-unquote normal difficulty. They will not wait. They'll just charge right in. I can probably prevent um, too many of them from hitting me by walking like this. Oh no, they're going for the other centaurs. Well... Um... Okay. I'm a little hammering. It would've been nicer if they just joined me. Please be more wood. Ugh. Crap. It's better than nothing, man. <laughs> if I could just get a marketplace, I could store up gold and then trade it for wood and quickly buy something. I guess the other option is to do my best to capture two sources of wood simultaneously. Yeah, because it looks like they're taking wood and gold from me every turn. Now, gold, I'm actually getting a net surplus thanks to having... Yeah, and I'm just not... I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to ignore that wood. Basic diplomacy could be a godsend to me. And I'll just run this hero over here and wait. Wait for the wood. Wow, this could get really bad. Um... Yeah, I'll take some, some skills. Do I need pathfinding? It doesn't look like I'm going to be moving on a lot of unfavorable terrain. Of course, could be pushing my luck with that. Yay! Okay. You find three wood. You find two wood. You find a marketplace. Quickly! <laughs> Alright. That's pretty much how we're going to have to do this, I think. And uh, run you over here to pick up the next set of troops. This is extremely crippling. Yeah, and they're making up with wood and gold, like, constantly. It's not working because I'm using up all my wood as soon as I get it. For the moment. Alright, got a uh, little bit of stuff here. Can I bust out of these with battle dwarves? Probably. I could probably do that. Might want to teach Sonya a lesson as well. Yes, I would like to recruit some dwarves. And I'll actually wait a turn to get the archers just in case the AI gets fresh with me. You know what? I'm not hurting for ore, and crystal can be traded. <laughs> uh. All right. I might fail this mission. I might not. It just depends if the uh, AI is actually threatening. Because if it's not, then I'm just going to keep killing it. And I will get away with this eventually. I will pick up some gold since I'm still getting a net surplus in that. Pick up some more resources. And, um... No, I'm not really up for engaging. I don't have to. Lots of griffins... No, you know what? I'm always underestimating them, and I don't think that's a good idea. I will, however, harass the enemy troops. No, that's my gold ex That's my experience. <sighs> Screw you. Ten gems? I don't think so, buddy. Aw, oh, crud! I was kind of hoping I would not have to fight them. <laughs> Screw you. I don't think protection from air is going to do much for me. Alright, well the Grand Elves are done shooting. So are the other Elves. It could have been worse, but that still... Oh, still hurts. Still hurts a lot. Yeah, suck on luck. Never got another morale bonus. I might even make those dwarves matter. No, but I want them in my stack for stack bulk, because stack bulk will allow me to convince things to join. So I actually do have a purpose for dragging these dwarves around. Yeah, see? And that's just going to allow more and more of that. I want to build up a super army of uh, creature recruitments.
Great. Well, let's just keep getting stuff. Now, logistics, unlike the other skills, is going to be very awesome. There's an artifact there. There's a pack of wood elves. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, maybe I should even... I need to bring him out here to get the wood simultaneously. But that's not going to matter until I see multiple woods. So, we'll just hold off on that for the moment. Did I claim an ore pit yet? No. But, again, I don't really need it yet. And these other resources are not bad for storing. Can we just subtract the gold and not have the pop-up? Pop-up's starting to get a little on the uh, unfun side. There we go. <sighs> Such habit. I, I want to build something and I cannot. <laughs> I can't even build up a castle, which would be great to uh, prolonging my survival. More dendroid guards. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Intelligence or pathfinding? Again, I really don't need pathfinding, I do not believe. There's none of the land around here that looks particularly difficult to navigate. And now I can probably chase marksmen away. Um, run down here. Mercury. It's never going to give me anything I want, is it? How much is a, um... Marketplace, uh, well, not a marketplace, a piece of wood, 2,500. So I can actually start buying pieces of wood and upgrading. Um, castle would be kind of huge. Blacksmith for City Hall would be nice too. But I'm thinking castle, so what we're gonna do here. Hmm. Trade for some wood. Trade for some more wood. Trade for some ore. And bam! Legitimate defenses, sorta. Because none of these AIs around here that I've seen so far really uh, look too intimidating. Nope, just grab some more resources. Ooh, an ore pit. Now my expert implosion, which I lack and we'll never get, can uh, be buffed up. Absolutely. In fact, I can continue to purchase things. Let's get some, uh, let's get some more wood. Yes. Obnoxious. It's so obnoxious. Nope. It's good that I'm like scaring the enemy away though. <laughs> I really do have a lot of troops. For uh well for the kind of scenario this is anyway. And yeah, I probably won't even reinforce him. I'm just going to use these troops to defend. Because I don't want like a little piddly here of sneaking in and capturing this. What else do I need for City Hall? Mage Guild level 1. 2,000 gold. I can actually get that this turn. Alright. Mage Guild level 1. So I just need a City Hall, which I can get next turn. Huh. Whoa, where are you going? Dude, you're crazy. No, you, this is ridiculous. Maybe I can use my eagle eye skill and learn magic. It's like a situation where it might work. Maybe. Hmm. 
Well, okay, that wasn't very hard, was it? Give me my ore pit back now. Lots of wolf raiders. No, I want to go get some dwarves. Wait a minute, does the uh, capital cost any lumber? Oh my god, I'm going to get it next turn. Uh, I don't understand. Oh, okay. Sure. I claimed victory. Good job. <laughs> well, it's certainly a change of pace from the campaigns I'd been playing previously. I'm sure I could have gotten that faster if I just realized I had plenty of gold to actually trade for wood in bolt and bursts like that. And yeah, if I'd known that they were going to steal wood from me every day, I wouldn't have picked up those pieces as early. <laughs> but wow, that wasn't even challenging. Okay, well that concludes the Restoration of Arathia campaign. That's right, viewers. We did it. We beat them all. We beat all of them. So, that will, that, that takes care of this. And that only means one thing. I can finally remove that cheater tag as I move on into a new campaign. Armageddon's Blade. Oh baby. Now we're starting to play for real. Got quite a few campaigns here. I'm not quite sure what playing with fire is implicating. Festival of Life, Dragon Slayer, The Dragon's Blood and Armageddon's Blade. So those are the ones we can start off with. Alternatively, I could go into the Shadow of Death campaign. Um, hack and Slash up Beaten, but I will show that in its entirety, and uh, you know, including all the failures. A lot of you have been complaining. It's like, oh, you're just playing games and sh only showing when you do well. That was only true in this uh, bonus episode, and I only showed this bonus episode because I was worried um, that I was running out of material, and I just wanted to record something quickly while I was playing offline. I was trying to get better at the game before I continued at it, and thought, you know, okay, I'm not going to have any videos. I want to upload something. I'm just going to upload this since I happen to have it. I did not even try to record the earlier missions, or I would have shown you my fail, and yeah. In fact, I will still, um, and when I get do get to these campaigns, I will absolutely show everything, including any losses I have. I might skip some, like after I fail, I might skip back into the you know, relatively similar point that I was in when I succeeded, and note the differences in the way I played, just as a means of saving time. But I will not cut out things that I record uh, pretty much ever, and I've not done that at all in this series. I've never recorded something and then not sent it onto YouTube ultimately after recording it. So uh, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't get the idea that I'm playing just playing and only showing my successes. That has not happened yet. I actually did not lose any of the missions in Restoration of Rathia at all, which was fortunate for me. The, uh, the only one that was close was that one with General Kendall in Dungeons and Devils. That time I almost did lose. So. But I didn't. I, uh, I cheesed him to death. And I did a little bonus episode, which some of you complained about, some of you liked, showing an alternative approach to beating him where I just completely and soundly stomped all over him. So, yeah, you got, uh, you got some showcasing there from me. But, again, you guys saw me play through that campaign already. There was no point in replaying it. So I don't understand the complaints from that standpoint. And it's clearly a bonus episode and not part of my running series. It's not even labeled as a number. You know, it's just, it has bonus in the title and it's separate. Anyway, in the next video, I'm going to be starting up the next series, which as far as I can tell, based on what people have told me, is Armageddon's Blade and not Shadow of Death. So I'm going to do Armageddon's Blade first. I, am under, I have under the understanding that it is easier and it'll give me more time to gradually refine my play until I can get to Shadow of Death. Hopefully I won't have uber-tastic numbers of failures for Shadow of Death by the time I get there. So in the next part, I will see you for the opening sequence of Armageddon's Blade. Thumbs up if you like this video, thumbs down if you do not. The Mean Team, signing off.